Hello my fellow wild ones. Yes, yes, finally I'm sharing another what I eat in a day video with you guys. It took a while. The recipes that I'm sharing with you today are some of my ultimate easy healthy classics to make. And all of them are vegan. So after I wake up and do a little meditation, the first thing I always do is take a glass of water. Then it's time to get ready for the day and make breakfast. So this recipe contains 200 milliliters of almond milk, a handful of oatmeal, one banana, one tablespoon of almond paste, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of vegan protein powder. Now what I basically do is very easy. I'll just mix everything together. So I'll pour in the 200 milliliters of almond milk, the banana, the oatmeal, and a tablespoon of almond paste. What I think is awesome about this brand, by the way, is that they're absolutely palm oil free. Then some cinnamon and two teaspoons of protein powder. Because I don't eat meat, I like to add this to my smoothies and whatnot. The taste is kind of neutral, so either way it's really for the protein than for the taste. Then I'll mix it, pour it in a big glass, and as a final touch I like to add some cacao nibs. I'm a big time cacao lover, and when I can add that even to my breakfast, it makes me a very happy girl, especially in the morning. It also makes sure that I can sort of chew on my smoothie, which is better for digestion and it creates the feeling that I'm full even more so. But either way guys, this breakfast is so filling that you can really take on the day now. Now, what you need to know is that I don't drink a lot of other things than only water. I do love to infuse it sometimes with some lime, for example, because I simply love lime. I've always been drinking a lot of water, by the way. As a child, a lady once asked me if I was a frog or not. <laughs> I thought it was kind of mean though, but I've always still loved it. After a few hours, I'm sometimes craving some sugar in the morning, and for that I always make sure to have some fruit at home. Since it's still summer, we can enjoy passion fruit, and once it's available in the supermarkets, I'm really going all out with them. I'm also a little bit obsessed with how they look like. I mean, how beautiful is this? Little mindfulness exercise here. <laughs> this, for me, you guys, truly is the essence of nature's candy. All right, and then for lunch, one of the easiest and healthy lunches I like to make are Buddha bowls. I simply choose six to seven veggies that you can eat raw and don't really have to prepare. So it's really just a quick and easy fix. Not to carry though. So for this one, I chose baby spinach, cucumber, yellow pepper, tomatoes, sprouts, soybeans, and then as a topping, some hummus and olive oil. So just like the smoothie, it's really simple. I'll just put everything together. So I'll begin with the baby spinach. I sort of always lay it down as if everything is a pizza slice. <laughs> then the yellow pepper. And I can't help but to snack in the meantime already, of course, as well. And then I add some of the soybeans and a bit of all the sprouts. Then I add some tomatoes. I leave them uncut because also with this bowl, I really see my veggies as candies and I can just pick a candy out of the bowl as if I'm like a child in a candy store. A very healthy one though. <laughs> and then lastly, some cucumber. As a topping, I use a big splash of hummus and some olive oil all the way from Italy that is extra tasty in these kinds of dishes. I totally forgot that it can also be really nice to add some nuts to it. So that's one last thing that I'll add and then it's time to eat. Either way, it's really what I feel like that day, what kind of veggies I'm craving and what I use. With these types of bowls, it really doesn't matter to me because veggies always just taste good with each other and it's always yummy in the end. And although it's really quick and easy to make, I always think that these bowls can take forever to eat. So take your time. <laughs> now it's around five and I'll take a little snack since I'll be going to the gym in a bit. Today I'll take this protein bar from ProBar, which is actually one of my latest discoveries. The taste that I really like is named Cookie Dough, and since I'm also a sucker for that ice cream, I guess I also just really like the taste of this one. It really creates that you're full right away and quite energized, because only moments after, this happened. <laughs> Okay, a few hours later, just got back from the gym and took a shower and now I'll make some pasta. And for this pasta, it's actually really all about the sauce. What you need is basil, 
pasta, but if you want it completely and full on make it healthy healthy, you can of course also replace that with some zucchini. And for the sauce you need avo, red onion, two glass of garlic, half of a lemon, pine nuts, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, about five chestnut mushrooms, some tomatoes, olive oil, pepper and salt. This recipe is completely inspired by the recipe that my friend and colleague Suus made, by the way, so you can also find it in Dutch on my website. First I'll begin with filling up the cooking pot with quite some water. As an Italian friend once said, your pasta needs to be able to swim in the water, so don't be too greedy on the water whenever you're making pasta. And then, in the meantime, I'll make the sauce. Did you know that you know whether or not the Evo is ripe by checking the color under the stem? If it comes away easily and it's green underneath, you've got a good one. I often already do this in the supermarket on the day when I want to eat it. And when the stem doesn't come off easily, it's not ripe yet. And when it does come off easily and it's brown, it's overripe. Then I'll cut the red onion and put it in a blender. Add two gloves of garlic. The garlic is definitely present then, so be aware. And then the juice of half a lemon. That really creates a fresh taste to it all. Then I'll add in four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, 30 grams of pine nuts. Then I'll pour in quite some oil. It needs quite a bit because this is the part that creates that it can mix easily and it really becomes a sauce. Pepper and some salt. Lastly, I'll add a handful of fresh basil. But all in all guys, with this sauce, it's really a matter of mixing and matching it to your own taste. Once I've mixed it, I always taste it first and then see whether or not it needs perhaps some more basil or more pine nuts or more oil, for example. But somehow the one I made tonight was perfect right away. And as you can see, the sauce looks really creamy and that's exactly what it should look like. In the meantime, the water is boiling, so I will pour the pasta in the cooking pot now. I'm making this pasta for two, by the way. I either way always like to make more so that I can eat it for lunch or dinner the next day as well. And then in the meantime, I'll cut the chestnut mushrooms and fry these fairly quickly until they're golden brown. And then I'll cut the tomatoes in the meantime. Now everything is basically finished, so when the pasta is al dente, I'll first pour all the water out of the pasta and pour it back into the pot. Then put it back on the stove and add the sauce to the pot and stir it a bit so that the sauce becomes warm. But the moment I did this, my SD card was full and I didn't notice it wasn't recording anymore. <laughs> so once that's done, you can pour it onto a plate and add the mushrooms, tomatoes and some fresh basil. And that's basically it. Buon appetito! In the evenings I also love to drink some calming, zen-like kind of teas and one that I would really like to recommend to you guys is this Snore and Peace from Clipper which is all organic and fair and very delicious. And that was it you guys, I'm kind of tired by now so it's time to go to bed. I hope you like watching this one, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to make one of these recipes or tag me on Instagram, I always really love to see it and I hope to see you in the next one. Keep letting love rule, love you guys. Yeah.